Hi guys, this is Best Boomer back with you. Uh, just did my run and I'm walking in the neighborhood here to do my uh, walk and talk. I think it's in the 60s right now. Beautiful weather in Arizona. Uh, so um, this is unscripted, just off the top of my head. I just had to respond. Um, I'm gonna call this, uh, Who Are Those Trump Voters, uh, part two because um, the saga continues uh, and it just gets better all the time. So I'm not one to stay quiet um, when it comes to uh, my beliefs and I'm not afraid um, to speak up and um, understanding that I will alienate some people by doing that. Um, it's kind of interesting though and thank god i am out of the workplace so i don't have to worry about um you know being political at all but i just wanted to do some comments about um where the selection is right now i see many comments that it's over it should be over uh the magic date has gone by um and I guess there are a couple more magic dates coming up though. So no, uh, the election process does continue and it continues as long as uh, President Trump um, doesn't concede and uh, continues to fight the good fight. And um, we'll see how it ends up. Right now though, it is very active. Um, but the concerning thing to me is that probably half of the population uh, isn't aware of this because they don't watch any news channels but mainstream media and the liberal channels who won't even mention what's going on right now uh, with SCOTUS and with the states, particularly with Texas, um, states coming together and joining in uh, Texas's lawsuit and SCOTUS giving them, um, forget now what it was, 24, 48 hours to respond back as to how they were going to uh, address the concerns in the voting. So very, very active. Texas is also on uh, the docket for SCOTUS. So, you know, the way I see it, it's still very, very active. And the question boils down to, um, in the end, will the Supreme Court of the United States um, address this? It's already thrown it back in the state's laps, and the states can decide to address it or not, I guess. And if they don't address it, then I guess Biden wins. If they do address it, then, you know, they're going to have to come up with some more, you know, um, electors to... Um, you know, to go uh, cast their vote. So um, it's really interesting. Or the, uh, the Supreme Court could just, you know, handle it and make some decision, whatever that might be. But it's very, very active right now. And whatever the outcome is, um, if nothing is done, let's say the states don't, you know, do anything about it, and, um, you know, they've had a record of just turning everything down, um, denying uh, these, um, you know, lawsuits and whatever. Uh, they can they can do that, and the Supreme Court can also do that. The risk we run here, though, is that nobody or half the population will never be confident in the voting process again, and that's huge for our country. That's that's huge, and uh, like I've always said, I believe that right. In, um, you know, wins out in the end. And, um, you know, I believe in this country and the process. And so I can hardly think that that's how it's going to end, but I don't know. And, um, and really right now, probably nobody really does. So um, my other point in making this video is I am um, disgusted <laughs> in the comments that I get uh, for um, supporting Trump and, and, you know, supporting the process. And there was one in particular, and I admit I 
went down the rabbit hole because I should have stopped it right away. There's no winning when you're debating uh, with somebody who um, refuses to see any facts and bases their uh, thoughts on their feelings and not on uh, hard facts. Um, and if you hate Trump, that's a hard feeling, and it's you can't change it no matter what you say. It is truly a Trump derangement syndrome out there. Um, so, being as I support Trump, um, you know, I uh, he called me um, immoral, no moral compass, um, ignorant, uh, narrow focused. Um, you know, you can go on and on and on. And, and he's anyone that you uh, talk to, most anyone, unless you're long-term friends with them, you know, and you kind of try to keep it in line and reasonable, um, they really uh, denigrate you for your support. And suddenly you take on all of the um, qualities of Trump. You know, you must be this one way because you support this man. Now, um, my uh, personal life, um, no, I have a moral compass. Uh, I believe in God. I have faith. Um, right is right. Wrong is wrong. Um, so, no, I'm, I'm not anything like Trump, and I don't condone his um, past life. Um, and I'm not going to even delve into it. I wouldn't want to delve into any of our past president's sex life. Look at Clinton. I mean, who, you know, really? Um, what I judge Trump by is what he's done for the country, and I can forward pages of accomplishments that this man has done. And there's no disputing it. You can hate Trump all you want. There's no disputing it. And I'd be glad to do that Who would, you know, to whoever would like it. Um, so... Um, that's what I judge him by, and um, but I have found, you know, that even with these facts, you cannot argue uh, feelings because um, the Democrats, um, that's what they base their, uh, you know, thoughts on, feelings, not on hard facts, and you can't fight that, and, um, you know, and if they don't switch up their news sources and try to get information from elsewhere if in fact SCOTUS rules on this and Trump remains our president. I can only imagine what the Democrats and the liberals, they're going to lose their minds. They lost their minds when he was, um, you know, won the first time they lost their minds. Crying, screaming, yelling. I mean, that's unstable. And I can only imagine what it's going to be this time. That's why, you know, anytime I speak to someone, I urge them to listen to other channels, see what's actually going on right now with the court, because, um, like I said, it's very active. It's not a done deal. At some point, um, it will be. And I don't know, Biden might be our president, and we will live with it. Um, I say that. I don't know. I don't know. The patriots out there, you know, they haven't damaged anything. They haven't rioted. But, you know, this is our country we're talking about. And people do feel very, very strongly. Um, I feel very strongly that I don't want our, our country to turn to socialism. Um, although some say, oh, but that's not so bad. Read up on it for crying out loud. Look at Venezuela. Look at Cuba. Don't be a dumbass. Read about it. People aren't knocking on Venezuela's door to get in there. They don't think it's such a great deal. And uh, some of the countries uh, who people, you know, tout as being so great aren't, aren't uh, totally socialist either. They're kind of a mixture. So I guess that's it. Uh, that's about it for today. I just... It just is such a crazy, crazy time. You know, then add COVID on top of it. It's such a crazy time. Um, when this is over, at least I'm not going to be talking about politics or COVID. 
<laughs> a change. You talk about something really happy and uplifting and um, go from there. But anyway, um, this is Bess Boomer again. Please um, listen to my channel. Like it if you like it. Even share it um, and consider subscribing. Um, I sure appreciate it. I'm uh, still trying to build up my uh, numbers. I'm going to do this for a while until, you know, I guess I get tired of it. It's kind of fun and it keeps my computer skills up. So you guys um, take care out there and until the next time, um, I'll see ya. Bye-bye.